Yo, what's going on out there everybody? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with a dope video showing you guys how to get invisible and god mode in your buzzard and put that buzzard in your special vehicle warehouse, alright? It's a dope glitch. Uh, you know, I hope everybody's having a happy, you know, holiday weekend, spending time with the family, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing after I show you guys how to do this dope glitch, all right? So the founders are 707 Dopper, 115 Stig, NHJYYS, and Macclesfield for this new method of putting the buzzard in the special vehicle warehouse. Now, go ahead and throw yourself in an invite-only session. You need a facility. You want, to, you want it to be full, and you want two RH8s in there, all right? At least two RH8s. Then you need a full garage somewhere else, and just throw one RH8 in there, all right? Could be a two-car garage, six-car garage, ten-car garage, doesn't matter. Just throw an RH8 in there and make sure it's all full, all right? Now, you're also going to need a buzzard in your hangar, okay? So make sure you got a buzzard in your hangar. Apart from that, you need a special vehicle warehouse with any special vehicle in it that you need that you want to overwrite, that you don't care about, all right? The Wastelander is the cheapest one. I'm going to be using the Blazer Aqua because I just don't give a shit about that, you know, that special vehicle at all. I never use it. So, uh, you also need one friend, but it's literally just for a few minutes, okay? You just need him for a few minutes to just stand there, all right? So, once you've gotten all that stuff, go ahead and call up your buzzard from your hangar, okay? That's your personal vehicle buzzard. Once you've done that, hop in it real quick, hop back out, return to storage. Now we're going to be doing the Doomsday Heist trick, okay? So go ahead and go to Play Quick Job, the Doomsday Heist, launch it alone, and you remember, you're going to be looking for that sound, all right? The little click noise or donk click noise. This still works, guys. I just hit it this morning, Sunday morning. It works perfectly fine, okay? So what I would recommend is pressing pause, go to online, go to options, and what you want to do is actually go over to matchmaking and flip it to closed, okay? That will help you out a lot. All right, so just flip it to closed, and that'll help a lot of people that aren't able that, you know, just get launched up into the clouds and stuff like that. That's what you want to do, okay? So check it out. I've already launched it. I'm waiting right now, and just listen up real closely. You're going to hear the noise. You heard that? That was the noise right there. It was the clink donk noise, all right? That means it was like about to launch the job populating lobby. Once that happens, you play quick job one more time. Just click on the app, and that cancels out the search, and that's it. You're glitched out, all right? So you just go ahead and go inside your facility now. And remember, there's a few ways to check if you're glitched out. If you go to style, it says you're in a mission, so you can't change your style. If you go to the blue circle for the vehicle management in the facility, the blue circle's not there. It's gone. All right, so... Now we're in our facility. Remember, you want two RHAs in here and it needs to be full. I didn't have two RHAs yet, so I just went ahead and ordered them just to make you know the tutorial a little bit, you know, easier to follow, I guess. Just I didn't want to confuse anybody, so I just wrote over a couple dupes that I didn't really need. So check it out. You see how style it says you cannot access this menu while on a mission? That's good. We're glitched out. So you'll be able to get into this RH8 and drive it around the facility. Alright, that's what you want to see. Now, this is just like, you know, the uh, the solo money glitch we've been hitting, all right? So if you guys have been doing this, you know, since Friday, you guys know what to do. So go ahead and block off the driver's side door, park it right next to the blue circle, just or the yellow circle, just like you see me do there. Now grab another car, Any this one can be any car, it doesn't matter, and you just want to block off the passenger side door, all right? Once you've blocked off the passenger side door, you want to make sure that you can actually teleport into the vehicle. So just go behind the RH8 and make sure that you can tap Y or triangle and teleport. Now, once you're standing in the yellow circle, you wanna hit Y and A at the same time and you'll hear the engine rev up and start as you're going up, all right? That's triangle and X on PlayStation, all right? Basically press them at the same time when you're standing in the blue cir or yellow circle. Now you're gonna spawn outside with your RH8. Now, since we had the buzzard out before, the buzzard just got overridden. So this is technically a buzzard right now, okay? Or it got duped, I guess. So go ahead now and start up a job so that it fixes yourself and gets you unglitched. When you started up that job, now you can go ahead and go back into your facility and it's gonna say that you know it's full. Just go ahead and accept that alert, all right? It's, now we're not gonna get caught on an infinite loading screen since we started up that job and backed out of it, okay? So now once we're at this point, you wanna go ahead and just you know select over a, uh, an RH8 that you got in there, the RH8 that we were using before, and boom you have your buzzard already in your facility, all right? So that's the first thing we gotta do, all right? So that's at least one step done right there. As you can see right there, you got a buzzard in your special, or in your facility. Okay, now you wanna go ahead and go outside and you wanna make sure that you have one of these war stock vehicles that go into your special vehicle warehouse purchase. I'm gonna show you guys which ones you can choose, all right? So right here, as we keep going down, here we go. So you got the ramp buggy right there. The ramp buggy does go in there. I believe the technical also does, but the Phantom Wedge for sure, the Armored Boxville right there, the Blazer Aqua, 
the Wastelander, the Ruiner right next to it, and the Rocket Voltec. Now the Wastelander is the cheapest one, so if you don't have any, I'd recommend buying that. I use my Blazer Aqua because I never, ever touch that thing, so I don't mind pretty much overriding it with a buzzard. Okay, remember, this vehicle you're going to be getting rid of, basically, okay? So, right here, the Blazer Aqua, that's what I am, you know, going to be kind of going over with this, okay? So, now, you're going to go ahead and call up that Blazer Aqua through your request special vehicle menu, okay? So, in my case, it's the Blazer Aqua. You guys can use any one of those vehicles that goes into the special vehicle warehouse, okay? But this is the one that I'm using right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in it. Just go back to my yellow circle, return it to storage. Now remember, this is the thing we're gonna be duping, all right? We are duping this thing. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and do the heist trick one more time. And this one, look how fast I get this one, guys. Literally, this is back to back. Just listen up. You heard that guys straight up like I didn't cut this gameplay at all pretty much going through those two I hit it that quickly okay all I did was set to my, set my matchmaking to close I've been hitting this perfectly fine ever since it came out I know a lot of people are having trouble but I haven't had problems with it I know glitches do vary from person to person and console to console and account to account but I've been doing fine with this glitch man it's been working 100% of the time almost okay so at this point this is where you need your friends so just ask any friend to just you know go ahead and stand in your facility all right he's just got to stand there that's all he's got to do you, you, you can have a brain dead friend he's just got to freaking stand there that is literally it so once you're in there and you're glitched out your friends in there with you just go ahead and grab another RH8 that you got in there this is why I said we need two so this is the second RH8 you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna park it block off the driver's side door Grab another vehicle and we're going to block off the passenger side door. All right, we want to teleport into the RH8. So there we go. A friend is there. He's going to make sure that the vehicles don't despawn. That's all he's in there for. And remember, when you're out in the yellow circle, go ahead and press Y and A basically at the same time. When you're standing on the yellow circle, PlayStation, you're pressing triangle and X basically at the same time. All right. And if you spawn outside with your vehicle, you did it perfectly fine. Okay, there you go. So just like that, this is the, the result you want to see. Now, don't unglitch yourself yet. What you want to do is drive this vehicle over to your, uh, you know, right here over to your garage. Okay, this is the full garage we needed in the beginning. Remember I said have an RH8 inside of a full garage, 10 car, 6 car, 4 car, 2 car, doesn't matter. All right, this is the one. So right now I'm just checking to make sure that this garage is full. So I'm just going to look at it, Unit 2 Popular Street, check it out, full, I got 10 cars in here, you know. I didn't have an RH8 in there, so I'm just going to go over an oppressor just because I have a bunch of them. So I'm going to go ahead and drive this RH8 right into that garage, it says a vehicle needs to be transferred. We're going to go ahead and transfer a vehicle. Now, as you can see, I'm just going to pick up one of those oppressors, alright. Didn't really know which one to choose or which spot to put it in, because I know sometimes garages get glitched out. But I just wanted to go ahead and put it in that slot. It's going to be invisible, but check it out. If you go there, see it says Blazer Aqua on the invisible slot. So the Blazer Aqua now is in your 10 car garage. All right. So that's like the second big step done. Now, all we got to do is go ahead and grab this. Uh, we got to put this Blazer Aqua now and transfer it within the facility. Okay. So at this point, when you get out of your garage, you want to go ahead and unglitch yourself. Okay. So go ahead and start up a job, you know, play jobs, rocks are created, go to missions and start up a Titan of a job. All right. So that was the, pretty much, that's all the hard parts guys. You know, once you've done the glitch, you know, twice and everything you, we've unglitched ourselves now, go ahead and go back over to your facility. So I got there on my presser, I just returned it to storage. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my vehicle menu and I'm gonna go to the request special vehicle and check it out. I'm gonna go over and request the uh, the Blazer Aqua, all right? That's the Blazer Aqua that was in our garage now, okay? So I requested the Blazer Aqua and look what shows up. Remember, when I went to that garage, I, uh, I went ahead and I transferred it with a, you know, with an oppressor. So what do you think is going to show up on the street when I request my Blazer Aqua? You guessed it, it's an oppressor. So once I've done that, I got the oppressor here that's really a Blazer Aqua. All I need to do now is go ahead and drive it into my full facility. Remember, now it says a vehicle must be re removed. So once you've done this, you're going to drive in there, you're going to get this long cutscene that we all wish we can skip because we've seen it so many times. And <laughs> once we're in here, all you got to do now is go ahead and right over the, uh, you know, right here, we're going to be replacing over the buzzard attack chopper, which we put in there early in the tutorial. So check it out, replace over it. 
and any second now because i think i was looking at the other slots that were kind of messed up and just like that that's the glitch guys you have now successfully put a buzzard in your special vehicle warehouse all right it's as simple as that all right it's not crazy complicated you just got to follow my steps perfectly fine and follow the video perfectly fine and you'll be good so now check it out if i go outside and request special vehicle and i hit blazer aqua i just select a on blazer aqua and what do you think is going to show up now all right if i replaced uh you know it with a buzzard uh, attack chopper before so check it out it's the buzzard now so this buzzard is successfully in my special vehicle warehouse and with a buzzard in your special vehicle warehouse you now have the ability to turn this thing invinc invisible and god mode okay so invincible invisible god mode uh buzzard all right that's how you do it so to actually get this to work fine what you need to do is check it out you see my special vehicle warehouse i got my ruiner my other stuff in there and look at that the buzzard attack helicopter okay that's what you want to see now for this to actually work all you you know all you need to do is have a friend go afk in your special vehicle warehouse okay if you got two consoles perfect all right i got two consoles so i just leave my one character on the other console just chilling in here all he's got to do is be chilling in here afk that's it so have him plug in a controller go watch an episode of south park go get a drink go get something to eat and you can basically just drive out your buzzard attack chopper like you saw me do in the beginning of the video and you will be god mode invisible no cooldown times to request it nothing like that all right dope dope glitch okay that's gonna be it for me guys hope everyone has a great holiday weekend my name's roll easy make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting that big red button turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video for the freshest and the most informative dope gta 5 online content peace out everybody have a great weekend